Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Have you forgotten the passcode for your iPhone and you're wondering how you can recover it without losing any of your data? In this video, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of unlocking your iPhone, giving you the choice of either connecting it to your computer or simply regaining access directly on your device. Let's go. If you want to regain access to your iPhone without plugging it into a computer, there are a few things you need to remember so that the method I will discuss later will work for you. First, your iPhone must be running iOS 15.2 or newer version. And most importantly, you need to own the iPhone and have it signed in with your Apple ID. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in the activation lock screen and won't be able to restore your device. In case you don't have access to your iCloud password, you can use our YouTube search to find the solution to your problem. To start removing your device passcode, enter it incorrectly a few times until the lock screen shows unavailable with an option to reset your iPhone. When you enter an incorrect password four times, you can try again after one minute. Once the minute is up, provide a wrong passcode again and repeat the process until your iPhone is security locked for 15 minutes. As soon as the 15 minute wait is over, Enter a wrong passcode so that the screen finally displays the Erase iPhone button in the lower left corner. Note that if you choose to erase your iPhone, the device will completely be restored to factory defaults. But don't worry, if you've backed up to iTunes or your iCloud account, you can easily restore any data to your device. To confirm the reset, please enter your Apple ID password. Upon successful validation, your iPhone will initiate a reset and automatically restart when the process is complete. To avoid interrupting the reset process, be sure to plug in your device to a power source, especially if the battery is low. When your iPhone reboots and you see the Hello screen, swipe up and select the default language you want to set for your device. Next, choose your country of origin from the available list. If you have your current iPhone or iPad, you can use the Quick Start feature to automatically transfer data to the iPhone you're setting up. But if you don't have one, click Set Up Manually and follow the on-screen instructions to continue. Connect to an available Wi-Fi network nearby so you can easily restore your device over the internet later, especially if you have an existing backup on your iCloud account. Then wait a few minutes while Apple activates your iPhone and follow any on-screen prompts. Setting up your Face ID is optional at this point. You can always set it up later in your settings. On the other hand, creating a new device passcode is mandatory, so enter your new passcode and re-enter it to confirm. On the next screen, choose how you want to transfer data to your iPhone. You can restore it from your iCloud backup, restore from your Mac or PC if you have a copy from the Finder or iTunes, transfer directly from another iPhone, or move data from an Android device. If you are setting up your iPhone for the first time and don't have an iCloud account, select Don't Transfer Apps and Data instead. Next, set up your Apple Pay, or you can skip this step. You can also configure it later in Settings. When your iPhone reboots, unlock the screen and enter the new passcode you created earlier to access your device. In case this process doesn't work for you, another alternative is to unlock your iPhone with iMyPhone Lock Wiper. To know more about this solution, check out my channel for more information. If you prefer to connect your iPhone to your computer, you can try using either iTunes or the Finder. In case you don't have it installed yet, I recommend downloading it directly from the Microsoft Store. For Mac users, you can easily restore your iPhone using the pre-installed Finder application. Once you have either app open on your computer, put your iPhone in recovery mode. Whether you are experiencing glitches with your iPhone, such as it being stuck in Apple logo, white screen, recovery mode, or other issues, entering recovery mode gives you the opportunity to resolve the problem so you can regain access to your device. To get started, connect your iPhone to your computer before entering recovery mode. Make sure to use an original or MFI certified cable to ensure a successful connection between the two devices. Once you've successfully connected to your computer, either open iTunes if you're on Windows or just use the pre-installed Finder application on your Mac. 
Also, see to it that both apps are updated to the latest version. To put your device into recovery mode, please take note that the combination keys are different for each iPhone model. For iPhone 8 or newer models, including iPhone SE second generation, follow these steps. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then hold press the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus models. Press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons and release them when the recovery mode screen appears. With iPhone 6S or earlier models including iPhone SE first generation, press and hold both the home and top or side buttons at the same time. Keep holding them until the recovery mode screen is displayed. After you put your device on the recovery mode screen, click the Restore iPhone button in the iTunes or Finder. Keep in mind that this process will completely wipe your device and you will need to set it up again. After the reset, you should be able to easily restore your data on your iPhone as long as you backed it up to your computer or iCloud account before restoring. Sometimes, restoring your device in iTunes or Finder may be ineffective and may not fix the problem on your iPhone. If this happens, you can try using a third-party application. If using iTunes or Finder doesn't solve the problem on your device due to their limited features, I recommend the third-party software iMyPhone LockWiper. LockWiper is specifically designed to unlock and remove iPhone and iPad passcode, Face ID, Apple ID, MDM lock, and screen time password. The program is available for both Mac and Windows PC. For your reference, click on the tag in the upper right corner or find the link in the description box below. Select the appropriate version compatible with your computer's operating system and click free download to try it. Please note that the trial version can only be used to verify if your device is supported or not. Otherwise, a premium subscription is required. For full access, you can choose between a one-time payment or a recurring subscription that you can cancel at any time. After downloading, run the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to install it on your computer. When the lock wiper dashboard loads, select the unlock screen passcode mode. If you're using iTunes, LockWiper may find your version inapplicable, so be sure to follow its prompt to repair the tool in order to proceed. After the repair, restart LockWiper and click Unlock Screen Passcode again. Please note that all data on your device will be erased after the removal process is completed. Your iOS or iPad OS will be updated to the latest version available. Next. Connect your device to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. To get started, follow the on-screen instructions to download the firmware package required by the software. Once the firmware has been successfully downloaded and extracted, you will need to put your iPhone or iPad into recovery mode. Then, select the unlock button and follow the on-screen instructions to confirm the screen lock removal process. Make sure the device remains connected to your computer and do not use it for a while to avoid interrupting the program while it is working. When the removal is done, your device should reboot automatically and the screen passcode should be completely removed. If it doesn't work the first time, repeat the process on LockWiper until the screen passcode is erased. Although the program is guaranteed to remove your device's screen passcode, it will still be in activation lock and inaccessible until you provide the Apple ID credentials originally registered with your iPhone or iPad. If you can't remember your iCloud password or you're having other trouble with your device, try our YouTube search. There's probably a solution to any problem you're having. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. 
leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.